guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rainbow Episode 4 of Smile Down the Runway, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> I'm tired, and it's only a couple minutes to 3. How can I be tired, you know? It's been a long time. Are you opening it as well? Oh, oh, that's why. <laughs> why are you used to love? <laughs> oh. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, we should have called. But dinner's already almost done. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's fair. Mm. But at least some more a ticket. That's the good thing about it. I mean, still. He was still able to save the fashion show, even with the stuff that happened. But still, I get the fact that, yes, his sisters have the right to be mad at him and stuff because of the fact that he didn't call and he was out late. He was sleeping over somebody else's place and stuff like that. I mean... His sisters are, you know, his older sister is like his parent. I mean, we've all had parents. My parents did that too, especially when I was in my senior year of high school. And I, um, my grandmother was in the hospital and my dad um, came home with my cousin and my mom stayed at the hospital with my grandmother. And my dad was wondering where the hell I was. And I was with my friends because my friends needed my help with something. And I kept telling them, I'm with my friends. I will be home soon. And let's just say by the time I got home, it was still late, late, but not like five, six in the morning. It was like one going on two. I got chewed out. I got an earful. And I was like, okay, but I didn't really care. I was like, helping my friends was important to me at that time. And some parents understand. And then there are some parents who just don't, but it's because they're very protective of their kids and they need to know where they are at all times I get that but still sometimes it's like just you know where I am I'm okay I'm safe we're fine But parents, they're so hard headed, but they want what's best for us, right?
true. Like, what made you passionate about it? There had to be something. Why don't you just tell your sister the truth? Mm. Oh. Oh, Ichika. In each of you just focus on you.
my god, he looks like you came from Fruits Basket and I can't. Mm. Yeah, you're the only one. It sucks, though. Cheese, <laughs> so fucking cute. Oh, I Everybody knows about that, honey. Really? That's easy. <laughs> that was quick, oh my god. <laughs> she has to be like everywhere. Well, that uh, it's nice that you got that ring. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
damn, you know your stuff. I bet he can just sell by looking at you. I'm guessing he's the one that designed all the rest of the clothes. Oh. Hmm, makes sense. Hmm. Uh, okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> oh, you're the model. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you a designer? Uh, and there's Tom. <laughs> oh. So yeah, you are a designer. Yeah, because you worked here the longest, Tamara. <laughs> I can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wouldn't it be better to see his real stuff? Of course. Well, okay, why don't you just do it both ways and then you test it and you see how he likes it. And then you just go with which one. Which one. <laughs> that was a little scary, but he's interesting.
You would want your dog to do that. Remember, Chiyuki believes in you, so you have to believe in yourself. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the only thing you wanted him to do to save me. You'll get there. I mean, because he's slowly getting to know his shit, but I mean, Ito isn't as vast of knowledge as To has. But you can tell that's the difference between them. One knows their shit, and one the other one barely really knows their shit. Because I think you found it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like the reason why To would want Ito is maybe just to, not only to help him, because I feel like he sees potential in Ito, but at the same time, I feel like he just wants him just to make fun of him all the, the entire time. You know how, like, in some TV shows, whether you've seen them, um, an anime or um, shows that come on like ABC, NBC, uh, CW, Fox, whatever, they always have that one person that they're always bullying, and that's what it seems like for Tull wanting to do that to Ito. I mean, Ito has potential no matter what, and I feel like he will be able to shine on his own and to have his own brand and everything, but he's going through what I like to say is the um, not almost bullying phase, whatever they don't want to do, which is toll or whatever, Ito has to do it. This is the same thing that kind of my mom has to go through because my mom is a CNA and whatever the nurses don't want to do, the CNAs ultimately have to do no matter what. It, it's just like that, you know, it's the same thing with some people in the army or Navy. If one person in a branch don't want to do it, that lower branch has to do it no matter what. It's like the, um, Oh my god, uh, like hell week or rush week for them in a way. But it's not a week. Sometimes it's, you know, a 24-7 hour job and you have to deal with it no matter what. But I feel like Ito, he's going to stand on his own. He already is. To he seems like a very interesting character. Seems like a little dick somewhat at times. But he's very professional. He knows the ins and outs. And I really just think it'll be... A little more helpful for Ito for this. I don't think Ito will go with him as for his brand. I think he will stay with what's his face because you know if Ito leaves, he has no one. Um, the girl quit. We really don't know what. I think they kind of told us what happened to the other character, so he's gone. Ito is the only one who was left with him. So I'm just praying to God that Ito will 
you know, get something in episode five and realize I want to stay here. I don't want to go with you because I'm learning so much with him. And not only, um, I think it would be better for my career as a fashion designer paving my way up until I can make my own brand and have my own money and everything and this like that and being in my own house and hiring everything. I think it'll be a good start for me here rather than to go somewhere else because you never truly know what in the world could happen if you're going from point A to point B to point C to every other damn letter in the fucking alphabet. You never really know what roads to take to get where you want to leave in like 10 years from now, 20 years from now, or even 30 years from now. And you're sitting here and thinking, what is your life going to be several years down the line? But it's good. I'm glad that, you know, um, his family had the conversation with him because it was really sweet. I'm very heartwarming. I almost cried. But, like, I had so many emotions inside of it. But this was a really good episode for Ito, and I can't wait to see more and see what else he has in store and what he's going to learn. And as I said, he does remind me a lot of, um, of Jenny from Gossip Girl or like any person who's been on Project Runway, even though I've like, I've barely really seen Project Runway, but I still know my shit from Gossip Girl and a little bit of Project Runway and anything that I've seen that delves into the world of fashion. But still, I'm every single week of getting surprised. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode four of Smile Down the Runway. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Friday for episode five. Bye, guys.